Yeah, been a little bit chilly this week. Hi everyone, welcome back to EIS Alaska. So we had a couple of comments wondering uh, why we can tie our boats up so tight to the camel rails here and not worry about the tide changes in the harbor. Um, all of our harbors in Kodiak where we tie up our vessels are, are floating, the fingers float. And so you see the big piling at the end of all the, of all the fingers. Um, of course it's the very end so we've got two on ours but as we go into the harbor it's just a single piling. And if you look down here, you can see a big heavy steel guide right there. And then it's got some black UHMW and that UHMW allows it to slide up and down the galvanized pipe easily. And it holds it in place. So these were driven in when they rebuilt the harbor. And then, um, and then they brought the floats in place and, and then they dropped the rings down and bolted them in. So all this stuff raises up and down with the tide. Mm -hmm. So we can just tie our vessels up and walk away from them. We never have to worry about the lines getting hung up on a piling, you know, and, and listing the boat over or anything like that. Yeah, we've had we have about a uh, ten or twelve foot tide here in Kodiak. Yeah, the, on the big side. Yeah, on the big mm -hmm. side. Yep. Yeah, so it's really nice. So that's why we can just come in, tie up as tight as we possibly can, put lots of lines on the boat especially this time of year in the winter and uh, and then we don't have to worry about them and uh, if you look over here you can see part of the tidal grid and this is where we can come in and maintain our vessels you see some of the beams sticking out of the water right there those are called vents and that's part of the grid and so on the high tide you can bring your vessel up and you tie up to the the pilings and then as the tide goes out your vessel will sit down on top of those bends and the tide can go all the way out, allow you to do work on the bottom of your vessel. Paint, replace sinks, maybe a, a through hole or something like that. And so uh, this grid goes all the way back down here. So it accommodates larger vessels on this end and smaller vessels with uh, shallower drafts up on this end. So we'll be paying that a visit before long. Um, Fishtail's been on there a few times if you haven't seen it. Click the link in the description there and that will take you back to there and kind of give you the the go-to on that, I guess. And uh, Yeah, you'll learn about our, kind of our uh, process when we, whenever we get on the grid, we usually wash the bottom, inspect the hole, not really like too in depth or anything, but just go over stuff, make sure it all looks good. Yeah, yeah, and then to get uh, up and down from the harbor, uh, we only have two ramps in, in this harbor and uh, one of them is over here. It's got the blue covering over it. We'll show you it when we get a little bit closer, but it's just basically on a, on a hinge at the top and then some guides at the bottom. So as the tide comes up, the ramp gets uh, less steep and when the tide goes all the way out, it gets really steep. And uh, it's a pretty simple setup and yeah. yeah. Low maintenance. It's a nice harbor. Yeah, it's a good harbor. This was rebuilt in, oh gosh, what was it, the uh, early 90s, I guess, Matt? Does that seem about right? <sighs> Maybe late 90s. Maybe, right? Because yeah, they, they had the old docks kicking around for quite a few years. And... Yeah, so I suppose this is somewhere in the neighborhood uh, 25, 30 years old now. Yep. Um, when they did that, they also put in new retaining walls for the grid over here and up in front of us, the way we're walking. They put in all that retaining wall at the same time, which provided uh, parking for vehicles up above. So, so we have a uh, place to park. Well, all the townspeople have a place to park. We don't have any reserved spots for fishermen here or anything. It's just kind of a free for all. So yeah, they're pretty nice fingers here, at least in, in this harbor. Um, Dog Bay has seen some upgrades, the harbor on the other side of the uh, channel. Um, primarily for the bigger vessels, the crabbers and stuff that tie up here. Large vessels, probably like over 80 feet, I guess. The smaller vessel side of the harbor is in rough shape and it needs to be upgraded, but that's a very expensive undertaking, so. 
I'm not sure what the timeline is for that. But we're happy to be over on this side. It's nice here for us, especially at the very end of the dock. Nobody ever comes down there to to chat us, really. Yeah. Unless they actually need world. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're at the beginning of the float, then everybody thinks they gotta stop and talk and yak, 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 and your day can disappear pretty quickly like that, so. So yeah, this is our ramp right here. Like I say, it's just hinged at the very top to allow it to raise up and down. And then it's just got a couple of guys right here. Same thing, it just runs on a, a UHMW ultra high molecular plastic just runs up here on this guide so this is a slide back and forth these rails keep it from shifting and slipping off a really simple setup same thing this little hinge part right here just kind of allows you to have a, a kind of a mellow entrance onto the top just slides on these rails so really simple So, to those of you that were wondering how that works, that's how it works. Yep. <laughs> so once again, everyone, thanks for joining us and hope you enjoy the videos. Yep, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.